Hello everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. Just in case we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow, so find a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in just a nice comfy seat. You might place your hands on your knees or in your lap bringing some length into your spine, and then feel free to close your eyes. Let's take a slow, deep breath in and out. Do that again, a slow, deep breath in and out. One more nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, start to let your chin fall down towards your collarbone, bringing some length into the back of the neck, letting your shoulders fall from your ears, softening through your forehead as well as your jaw. I'm taking just one more breath here before you use an inhale to lift your chin slowly back up and let's move our hands just to the ground beside us and with a big inhale start to reach your right arm out to the side and up above you and maybe you'll lean over towards the left. Let a big inhale bring you back up through center. Rest your hands beside you. And then inhaling again as the left arm starts to reach out, up and over. Letting an inhale bring you back. Your hands could find your knees again. And if you want to take a little shoulder roll, take a shoulder roll. If your eyes are still closed, you can open them up and we'll move into tabletop onto our hands and knees. So you can spread your fingers out a little wider, maybe give your hips a nice little sway side to side. And then using a big inhale, start to drop your belly down as you lift your chest and maybe your chin too. With the exhale, slowly round your spine, squeeze your belly in, tuck your chin back to your collarbone. Inhale to drop your belly, arch your back, lift your chest. Exhaling to round through the spine, push into your palms. One more breath here. Inhale, drop your belly. And exhale to lift it up, round your spine. Let an inhale bring you back to a nice long flat spine and then tuck your toes and lift your knees into downward facing dog. Take a moment to regrip through the hands, spread the fingers wide again. Maybe take a nice little pedal of the feet. Lift and lower the heels, bend and straighten the knees, all the while pushing into the hands. Let your head get a little bit heavier. Send your hips nice and high. Maybe even a little sway in the hips. Let's take a nice, slow, deep breath in though and out. Then use an inhale to gaze forwards. And exhale as you walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. As you inhale, lift halfway up, bringing length into the spine. And exhale to fold forwards, bend your knees. Inhale, let's come all the way up to standing. Reach up, exhale, let your arms fall to your sides and roll your shoulders back and down. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhaling for a half lift. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up. Exhale, let your arms fall to your sides. Take a shoulder roll if you want one. Inhale to reach up again. Exhale as you fold back down, inhaling into a half lift. 
legs. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale all the way up to standing. One more time, reach up. Exhale, let your arms come to your side. Shoulder roll if you want it. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale for just a half lift. As you exhale, fold. We're going to plant our hands and this time our left foot is going to come back into a lunge. You can lower your knee or keep it lifted. If you want to twist, plant your left hand and start to turn your chest to the right. Maybe reach up, maybe look up. Take another inhale if you're twisting and let the exhale bring you back down. So we're going to move our front foot to the right side. If you want to move, uh, bring your uh, back knee down and then heel toe your foot to the side for your lizard legs, you can keep your knee down or you could lift it again. But option to twist from here, from our lizard. So if your left hand wants to move to the left side of your mat, you can start to turn the chest back towards the right. Maybe you'll be reaching up and looking up again. Maybe your back knee is down. Maybe it's lifted, waking up that leg. One more inhale here though. And then as you exhale, come back down. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Start to heel toe your front foot to the middle of your mat. If you have your knee lifted, bring it down and keep heel toeing your foot to the left side so that we can lay down the shin. Maybe scooch the foot a little closer to the left hip and set up our pigeon. Now from here, let's push into our hands a little, lift the chest a little, and then notice your back leg. Maybe you can take a peek back there. Maybe you can tuck your toes and maybe you can float your knee a little bit, but still lift the chest, push into the hands, just something to try if you want it. And then as we relax a little bit more, you can let your leg relax, flip to the top of the foot again, and then maybe a moment to fold forwards and relax a little bit more. And then we can start to lift up again, planting your hands. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. If you end up in tabletop first, that's okay too. But maybe you can push yourself all the way back into downward facing dog. And once you get there, take a little pedal of the feet, bend and straighten the knees. Pushing into your hands, let your head get a little heavier. And then use an inhale to look forwards as you exhale. Walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale for a half lift once you get there. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale all the way up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, lower your arms to your sides. Add a shoulder roll in if you'd like. Inhale, reach up and exhale, folding back down. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale all the way up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, lower your arms to your side, shoulder roll. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale all the way up to standing. One more time. Exhale, lower your arms down. Last shoulder roll if you want it. Inhale to reach up. Exhale as we fold back down. Down, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands this time. Take your right foot back. Set up your lunge. Knee lifted or lowered if you're going to twist. Plant your right hand. Start to turn the chest to the left. Maybe reach up and look up. 
stay for an inhale. If you're twisting, let the exhale bring you back. We're gonna heel toe our foot to the left side. Your knee can come down or it can stay lifted, but set up your lizard. If you're gonna twist, you might move your right hand to the edge of your mat too, so you've got some nice space between your left foot and your right hand. Start to turn the chest back to the left. Maybe reach up and look up again. Keep your back leg awake if the knee is lifted. One more inhale. As you exhale, come back into your lizard. We're gonna heel toe our foot back in. You might lower your back knee now. And then keep heel toeing off to the right side to set up your pigeon. Start by relaxing through the back leg. Pushing into the hands lifting the chest, then maybe, maybe you can take a peek or just tuck your back toes and hover your knee a little bit. Maybe that is not working for you. Just something to try if you would like to. You can start to relax the back leg again, rest on the top of the foot. Stay lifted through the chest or Enjoy a few more breath here, folding forwards. If you are folding, you can start to lift again, planting your hands. Meeting in downward facing dog, or if you're coming through tabletop, but you can start to make your way there. Maybe pedaling the feet a few times, bend and straighten the knees, pushing into the hands. Maybe even sway your hips side to side as you push into the feet. Feel your hamstrings, your calves. Let's stay for just another inhale. And then as you exhale, you can bring your knees down and out wide. Rest on the top of your feet with your big toes coming together. Send your hips back and just take a moment in child's pose. Resting your forehead. Slowing down your breath. And then when you're ready to move again, we're just going to come up. Tabletop. And then standing on our knees. So you could rest on the tops of your feet. You could tuck your toes under wherever you feel more balanced and supported. But I think I'm gonna tuck my toes under, maybe add a little toe stretch in there. We're just gonna be leaning back a little bit to fire up the quads, to maybe stretch the feet, the ankles, and the toes. And your arms can reach out in front. Palms facing down, just holding that heat to that work. Maybe you can turn your palms to face up. Maybe your pinky fingers can lightly touch. Maybe your palms can turn down again. And then up one more time. And then just start to lean forwards, relax, bring your hands down. Untuck your toes so you're resting on the top of the feet. If you need a little shake of the ankles, a little tap of the toes, take it. Then we're gonna stay on our knees now and reach our arms forwards, spreading your fingers wide. Maybe your thumbs will lightly touch. Big reach forwards, looking forwards maybe a little bit here as you dip the chest down. You could start to look down and rest your forehead and let your chest get a little lower and a little lower. And then we're just gonna lift right 
back up nice and slow. Look to your hands again. Your right hand's gonna stay down like it is. And maybe we can turn our left palm to face up. Now we're gonna try to touch the top of the hand and the fingers to the ground. Maybe your thumb and your pinky are touching one another. And then you're just gonna slowly start to lower your chest again. You can look forwards to your hands. You might feel a little shoulder action here. And then just slowly lift. Take that left palm to face down, turn the right one up. Maybe the thumb and the pinky touch. Maybe you're resting on the top of your hand. Lengthening through the arm, a little weird rotation of the shoulder as you start to lower your chest again, as low as it wants to go. And then lifting right back up, turn your right palm to face down. Maybe the thumbs are touching again. And then slowly melt. Maybe a little further, maybe a little further. Your poppy dog stretch. Take just one more breath here. And then letting an inhale lift you up, bring your hands under your shoulders. You could come to standing on your knees or just sitting on your heels, but if you wanna take the weight out of the arms, the shoulders, if you wanna add a little shoulder roll, you can do that as well. You might even let your chin tuck down towards your collarbone. Close your eyes, take a moment, notice any sensations flowing throughout your body. We are going to come all the way to seated, so if you'd like to Cross your ankles and bring your legs in front of you. You can continue to lean forwards a little with the chin. Maybe hug your knees and rock side to side. Then if we can come on to our backs from here, let's start to lay down. Your knees might come towards the chest. You might rock side to side from here. Giving your back a nice massage. You'd like to widen the knees, maybe even reach for the feet, happy baby. Maybe continue to rock side to side. If you have your feet lifted, you can start to let them go again. Bring your knees together. Eventually letting your feet come down to the ground. And maybe just swaying the knees side to side a few extra times. And you're ready to send your legs out long, your feet out wide. Making your way into Shavasana. Whatever that is going to look like for you today. 
however long you have time for to be here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day though and until next time, namaste.